Hey friends, we're going to do a really quick fun scratch project here. It's called Code a Joke. We're going to put a background on it. We're going to have two sprites and they're going to tell a knock knock joke. So let's get started. Our project has five simple steps and remember at any time, just like all of my videos, you guys can always pause it to keep up with me because I want everyone to have a completed project at the end of this video along with me. So here are our five steps. We're going to pick a joke, then we're going to open, name, and save a new scratch project in CS first. The third thing we're going to do is create a background. Fourth is add our sprites. And then the fifth is code our sprites. So let's get going. I'm going to use this kind of silly joke, but if you have a favorite joke, you're welcome to use it. If you don't, you can choose one of mine. You can pause the video and look at it or look at the cards on my website. And then if you have another one that you really like, you can use that. But everyone needs a knock knock joke to start with because that is what our characters, our sprites are going to say back and forth to each other. So pause the video pick out your knock knock joke and then unpause and keep coming. The next step is to open name and save our project. We go into scratch through CS first. And so we're going to do that on our computers. Now we're going to hit the blue plus sign here and hit new project. When we do that, we have a new project open in scratch. And we come up here. The very first thing we do is click up here where it says untitled. I'm going to click in there and use my backspace button to erase. That's like my erase key. So I'm going to use that. I'm just going to call it knock knock, or you can call it code a joke, whatever you want to call it. Knock is spelled K N O C K. And I'm just going to do that twice. Knock knock. Now that I've named it, I've opened a new file. I'm ready to go on to my next step. So pause the video if you need to name yours and let's get going on our actual project. For our project setup, the first thing we need to do is get rid of scratch cat, unless he is one of the sprites you want to use. If he is one of the sprites you want to use, keep him. But I'm going to hit the trash can to get rid of him. The first thing I'm going to do is put a backdrop on my project. So I'm going to come down to my backdrop button, choose a backdrop. You can choose any backdrop that's in here. If you're doing this from home, you can choose a different backdrop. You can upload it. I'm just going to pick this one called blue sky. You can scroll through, look and see whichever one you want. Take your time, but don't take too much time because we want to finish this project pretty quickly. I have a backdrop now, so I need two sprites that are going to tell a knock knock joke to each other. So I'm going to come down to my sprite menu, choose a sprite. I want to choose the two that I used in my sample video. So I'm going to come down here and my sprites are named Giga and Gobo. You can choose whatever backdrop you want. You can choose whatever sprites you want. You do not have to choose the same ones as me. You just need one backdrop and two sprites. So I'm going to choose Giga and I'm going to go back in. It always kicks you back out. You have to go back in, hit the cat with the plus sign again and choose your next sprite. You can pause this video, find your own sprites and then hit play again. Once you hit play, you're going to put them wherever you want them to be on your backdrop. Once you've moved everything to where you want it to be, we've done all of our projects set up. So now we need to go on to our coding. So for our coding, these are the three essential blocks that we're going to grab from our yellow events blocks menu. We're going to grab when the green flag is clicked from our purple looks blocks. We're going to grab say hello for two seconds. Now we are actually going to grab a lot of these blocks and from the control blocks, we're going to grab a wait one second. We're going to grab a lot of these blocks as well. So on my next screen, I'm going to show you what we need to do for each of our sprites for your sprite. That's going to start your project sprite. Number one, you need to grab out one, two, three of your purple look say blocks. So you're going to go to your purple menu and you're going to grab out 
three of these blocks. Then you're going to go to your orange control menu and you're going to grab out two wait two second blocks. And you're going to go to your yellow events menu and just grab one when green flag is clicked. So I'm going to go to mine so I can show you how to do that. So I'm going to make sure I'm on Gobo because he's the one who's going to start my knock knock joke. I'm going to go to my purple looks. And I'm going to grab a say hello for two seconds. I need to grab three of these because he's going to say three different things. So I'm not going to hook them together. I'm just going to pull them out onto my board. Then I'm going to go to my orange control menu. And I'm going to grab a wait one second and grab another one. I need two of those. And the last piece I need is on my yellow events menu when the green flag is clicked. So now I'm going to piece them all together and then I'm going to change them to customize them to my knock knock joke. So my wind green flag goes on top and then since he's the one starting the conversation, I'm going to automatically put a conversation piece right here. And then he needs to wait for Giga to respond and then he's going to say something else and then he's going to wait and then he's going to respond. So for your sprite number one, you're going to do when green flag is clicked up at the top and then you're going to alternate. You're going to do a purple say, then a wait, then another say, then a wait, then a say. So right now I'm not going to change any of that because right now I want to go to my other sprite and grab those blocks that I need. They're really similar. There's just one difference. I'm going to go to my second sprite. I'm going to show you my blocks again. For my second sprite, it's the same three blocks, but instead of having just two of the weight blocks, I'm going to grab three of the weight blocks. So I need three purple blocks, three orange blocks, and one yellow. So I'm going to go back to my second sprite. And I'm going to grab, I'm already on my events menu, so I'm just going to grab out my when green flag is clicked. I'm going to go to my purple menu. I'm going to grab out three of this first block here that says say hello for two seconds. I'm not going to join them together. I'm just going to put them out here on my board. And then I'm going to go to my control menu, my orange menu. I'm going to grab a wait one second. Now at this one, this character needs to wait. It does not talk automatically because the other character starts my joke. So I'm going to put a wait. And then I'm going to attach my purple because it's every other one. I'm going to grab out another weight and then attach my purple and one more weight block and attach my purple say. So now if you look at your two blocks of code, my Gobo is going to introduce the joke and he's going to start talking. So he starts with the say and Giga is going to wait and listen to what Gobo says and then respond. So now it's about the timing and making, putting your joke in there. So I'm going to go back to our slides and this is my joke. You're going to put your own joke in there, but everyone's going to start with their sprite number one saying knock, knock. And I say it for two seconds. So then if Gobo is talking for two seconds, Giga, so she doesn't talk over him, she's going to wait for two seconds. So I'm going to type knock knock into here and then change that to a two second. And I'm going to change my wait one second to wait two seconds so that they don't overlap. So now after that, Gobo has to wait while Giga talks. Giga is going to say who's there. The question mark is if you hold the shift key down and then hit the question mark key. So we're going to say knock knock and then Giga is going to respond who's there for two seconds. Then Gobo's going to say, in my joke, is going to say lettuce. You're going to put whatever is in your joke. I put my timing at 1.5 seconds. You can split up your seconds. You don't have to do whole seconds. So I do 1.5 seconds. So then Giga's going to wait for 1.5 seconds. So she's not talking over Go Gobo. And then she's going to say, let us who with another question mark. And she's going to say that for two seconds. So I need to have Gobo wait for two seconds. And then he says the punchline, the funny part of my joke. Let us in. It's cold out here. 
and ends with the exclamation mark. You'll notice I did that for three seconds because I want there to be more time so that my audience members can read the whole joke and laugh. And then Giga is going to respond. She's going to wait for three seconds and then say, ha ha, that's funny. So instead of doing my joke, I want you to insert your joke in here. You can pause this video right here so you can see what you need to put in each of them and just make sure this whole thing's about timing. You're doing a conversation and you don't want them talking over each other, but you don't want there to be too long of a pause. So look at my timing. You can use the same timing. You can adjust it. If your joke is a little longer, you might have to make it a little longer. And then when you're done filling out your own blocks with your own joke, I want you to hit the green flag and test it out. And then you'll have a completed project. And that's it. Have fun with your project.